Okay, so welcome back to my set review series. Today, we'll be discussing number word problems. So, number word problems ay obviously yung mga word problems na nag involve around numbers. So, madalas pinapasolve nila what is the number, ano yung mga numbers, or ano yung smaller number. Okay, so I have a problem here. So, two numbers differ by 18. Twice the smaller number is 1 more than the larger number. So, what are the two numbers? So, ganon. So, una alam natin na, may, na mayroong isang smaller number and yung isa larger number, no? So, we let, can denote, so let's say let x to be the smaller number. And then sabi natin, the two numbers differ by 18. No? Ibig sabihin, yung isang number ay mas malaki sa kanya ng 18. So meaning, yung x plus 18, ito yung larger number. Okay? So sabi sa atin, twice the smaller number, okay? So twice the smaller, so 2x, is equal daw is 1 more than the larger number. So is 1 more than the larger number, so x plus 18 plus 1. No? So, meaning, ito na yung ating uh, algebra equation and we can just solve for x. No? So, basic na to kung how to solve x. So, 2x is equal to x plus 19. Lipat may x sa kabila, x is equal to 19. Okay? So, yan yung smaller number. Larger number daw ay 18 larger than that. So, x plus 18 or x plus 18 is equal to 37. And ito na yung ating larger number. Okay? So, yan yung ating unang problem. So, let's do another one. So, ito yung second problem natin. No? So, sabi, find the four consecutive integers such that the sum of the first and the third integers, okay, is 17 more than the fourth integer. So, alam natin na meron tayong apat na numbers. No? So, let's just denote them by x. No? So, ito yung first number. And then, kailangan daw consecutive. So, alam mo na x plus 1, x plus 2, and x plus 3 yung mga numbers. No? Second, third, and fourth. So, kasi kailangan consecutive. Sabi, the sum of the first and the third, so yung x, tsaka yung x plus 2, so x plus x plus 2 daw, ay equal sa 17 more than the fourth number. So, meaning, x plus 3, tama, yun yung fourth number, plus 17. So, ngayon, this is just a basic algebraic equation na we can solve. No? So, let's simplify. 2x, 2x plus 2 is equal to x plus 20. And solving for x, x is equal to 18. No? So, alam natin ngayon na yung numbers natin ay 18, 19, 20, and 21. So, let's do one last example. So, yung last problem natin, sabi, the numerator of a fraction is 2 less than its denominator. If the numerator is increased by 1 and the denominator is increased by 3, the fraction is now equal to 1 half. So, what is the original fraction? So, alam natin, meron tayong numerator and denominator. So, let's say x yung numerator, no? And then, sabi, the numerator of a fraction is 2 less than its denominator. So, meaning, x plus 2 yung ating denominator. So, alam mo na meron kang fraction na x all over x plus 2. Okay? So, ito yung ating original na fraction. Then, sabi sa atin, if the numerator is increased by 1 and the denominator is increased by 3, the fraction is equal to 1 half. No? So, yung increase natin ay x plus 1 and then x plus 2 plus 3 ay equal daw to sa 1 half. No? So, ito yung increased natin. Increased fraction. So, Ngayon, we can just simply solve this, no? So, that is x plus 1 all over x plus 5. 
is equal to 1 half, no? And from uh, natutunan natin in our previous videos, kailangan lang natin to i-cross multiply. Tama? So, you get 2 times x plus 1 is equal to 1 times x plus 5. And this will become 2x plus 2 is equal to x plus 5. And solving for x, x is equal to 3, no? And then, pinapahanap sa atin yung original na fraction. So, yung original na fraction natin is x all over x plus 2. So, yung sagot natin na original fraction is 3 all over 3 plus 2 or equals sa 3 fifths. Okay? So, yan yung ating original na fraction. So, those are three examples ng number problems. And I hope to see you again next time.